Sorry, chum. Can't let you through. Worms Rock's closed for the day. Ruby! You don't look the posh sort. Last door on the right. Go on. Make merry. Lower the gates! Special permission! <laughs> triumph after triumph. You have excelled in base villainy. For he who fights with monsters should look to it that he himself becomes a monster. When you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. You have reached the time of majority, and you shall come into your birthright. But another seeks to disinherit you. Do not let her be your death. Your father loves you best. You have already made us so proud. Slaughter your line. Become the last of your name. Lord Baal shall have but one chosen. Memories flood back. Snatches of your story written in the blood of a thousand victims. Years spent in worship of Baal, leading his savage congregation in prayer, sacrifice, and slaughter. You were their master, and he was yours. A cruel master, a dread lord, a devoted father. All is greater than you could have dreamed. You are a spawn of Baal, his heir, his scion. You are not the last of your name. Not yet. There is another. The abomination wrapped in flesh you saw in the colony. Orin. Dear sister must die by your hand, an offering in Baal's sanctum. Your heart pines for the love of your lord. Today is a wonderful day for murder. Halt! We do not know how you gained entry, but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place. Confident, dominant, commanding. Greetings, old friend. Orin told me you were on your way here, but I scarcely believed it. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate. Welcome home. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Resisting its masters, its acting of its own will. Stand down, villain. In the name of the Steel Watch, aggressive action will not be tolerated in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. The Steel Watch. Appreciate your cooperation, citizen. Dearest Patriarchs, but a moment. 
I must greet a most honored guest. Crawling back from his bloody disgrace. It's my favorite assassin. Gods, you're a sight for sore eyes. Orin told me she made a fool of you. But I should have known you wouldn't go down that easy. Then she didn't buy. The past is lost to you. Let me clear up some mysteries then. We share so much history. You and I initiated this plot. We discussed in depth the failures of our predecessors and how to avoid them. We understood that if we were to unite, no one could stand in the way of the Dead Three. So, unite we did. First we obtained the crown, then we enslaved the brain. From there, it was but a small step to the most successful religious hoax ever perpetrated. First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. You would have carried out that part of the plan had Orin not ruined your hard work. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherick Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them, all out of fear of the Absolute. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. It was all going so well, until you vanished. Orin informed us that henceforth she would speak for the Temple of Baal, and act on their behalf. But she, she made a mess of things. Unlike you, she cannot control herself. We are brilliant. When Kethrick fell, I feared the worst. That our plans would fail like so many before because of discord among ourselves. Uh, now you've returned. We can achieve all of our dreams still. You brought Thorm's Netherstone. You know, it takes all three to control the brain. Without Thorm's, it's become vexingly willful. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the Sword Coast's infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the Grand Design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, a bleak prospect. But it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I renew our old partnership. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick felled, Orin proves treacherous. She craves the Netherstones for her own, desperate to impress Baal. She only cares for blood, and your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. So I turn to the scion of Baal. You are his dear prince. He created you to rule. Let's make our pact anew. A divine oath, sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. 
So the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. The urge, the deplorably brutal urge, sickens within you. When you level the world over, that dead world must be yours alone. But first you will rule. Then you will ruin. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. He wants what we want. Orin dead, and the Elder Brain subjugated. An alliance would serve us well. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. We would not meddle in each other's affairs. This was our agreement. She came to us as Baal's chosen. We are but servants to our lords. Your presence here means your lord sees a purpose for you yet. I tolerated Orin, but I liked you. Then let it be writ by the black hand of Bane. I, Lord Enver Gortash, swear I shall do you no harm. We will rise together over Toriel as a roaring sun. Let me demonstrate why you made the right choice. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A shapeshifter? It could be anyone. I mean, it's not me, but it could be anyone else. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly, or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. The Baal Temple, your old haunt, now reeks of her icors. Hmm. Do you even remember how to find it? A shame. It's a secret even to me. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. It's not, but it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. The crown's magic turned the brain into something the world has never seen. A nether brain. Its power is immense. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. Orin is... elusive, shall we say. The grip of the steel watch may be tight, but sand still slips through its fingers. Some conflicts are best resolved quietly. The people are cattle, obedient until panicked. You carry the stone plucked from Merkel's chosen. Besides, why call you enemy when I could repair an old friendship? Before you do, come and witness, as I make history as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Then we proceed. The Patriarchs await. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, 
Swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. Archduke Gortash, man of the people, the right people. An Archduke! Finally someone who can stand up to those wretched absolutists. Ravenguard has not once failed this city. If he trusts Gortash, then so do I. The Steel Watch has made an impenetrable fortress out of the Sword Coast's crown jewel. I can't think of a better endorsement for Gortash than that. Seems like a good moment to talk. What glory, our city. And what glory, its future. Truest of souls, bathed in her light. There is a fleeting connection. Your parasite communes with his, then falls quiet. Have you come to behold the new dawn? Not just glory, paradise. Faerun suffers in darkness. Tear has abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. And it will be Gortash who ignites the final spark. Kill Orin and take her netherstone. Find me in my office upstairs when it's done, and do not return until it is done. Let this be my one warning. Sorry, sorry, these dukes are working me to the bone. Broth's bubbly, no time to talk. Lord, Archduke, God. <laughs> I'll call Gortash what he wants, as long as Lord Chatshield pays me for all this waiting around. Head up, chest out. Lord Portier could descend any moment. You hear? Milady says Absolute's army's on the march. There's watchers. We'll hold the line. You best believe. Cult army on the march, killer on the loose, and Mistress Dorenbold still drags me hither and thither. Hush. Patriots are upstairs. Lord Janeth could call for me at any moment. Look, I'm all for Gortash. But those clankers, they don't sit right with me. Because they do your job better than you and without complaining. It is unnerving. Imagine where we'd be without them. The city would be overrun. They're all that's keeping this cult at bay. He has a point. They make people feel safe, if nothing else. 
Ha! You hear this? Tell my friends how safe you feel with those metal giants stamping about. They're a true miracle of engineering. Ha! It'll be a miracle if they're still working in a tender. <laughs> 